Here's number seven of our conversation with the great Felix Cavallari. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. There were a lot of hits, like the number one smash hit single, Good Lovin' in 1966, followed by You Better Run. In 67, I've Been Lonely Too Long. That reached number 16. Groovin', their big number one hit, that was in the summer of love, including A Girl Like You. In late summer, it was How Can I Be Sure, a big one that hit number four. And there were more, A Beautiful Morning in 1968, and People Got to Be Free, their last number one hit that same year, 68. Personally, where where were you at, for instance, in '67? Well, like, what kind of a, like, what were you thinking about? Did, did you have future plans? Did you have time to even think about that? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, well, first of all, I was I was studying, you know, with the guru at the time. So uh, basically, I, I was in a pretty blissful state. You know, I mean, come on, we go in the studio, we play a song, we write a song. We record the song, it becomes a hit record. We go out on tour. I got this beautiful girlfriend. Come on. I mean, you know, let's be sad. I, I was I was the happiest guy in the world. I mean, seriously, you think about it. People dream of what I just said. You know, you write a song, you go in the studio, you record it. You're able to hear it. People like it. You tour. I mean, it was really a joy uh, being uh, around in those days and, and being able to do what you want to do, what you love. It was pretty amazing. You know, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's it, it's just a shame that, you know, like that the, it kind of turns around and goes, you know, the other way. You know, another interesting story that I I spoke to somebody many years later at Juilliard, you know, it was a music school, very famous music school. And I understand that they had this one course. It was called like the chaos course and something like that in, in that they would take a, a group of musicians, put them in a room with no music. And then just ask them to play. Obviously, when they started playing, it was chaotic. And then at some point, people would kind of tune into each other. And this dichotomy of harmonies and music would go and it would just be freaking fantastic. And then it would go right back to the chaos. So it just shows you that, you know, the human egos and the human sensibilities they can but they can't you know and that's what happened with us that's exactly what happened with us it was bliss 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 oh my god oh look out oh look at this what a shame you know but for a moment there and those were the moments you're talking about it was pretty cool. <laughs> did you ever splurge? I, I, like, did you ever go out and buy a, a, a Porsche? Did you ever? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, 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 and then, then God gave me twins and then, then that stopped immediately, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I had twins right. Not so long after my Lamborghini. Yeah. Oh. Hello reality. But yeah, we, 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 we got a little out there, you know, but I mean, like it was, it was, was within reason, you know, <laughs> I, I think. We'll have more from Felix Cavallari coming up in a few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. You want to donate to the channel at the very top of the description? There's a link where you can do that. Or you can buy a t-shirt. That helps the channel as well. We have t-shirts for Rock History Music, Rock History Book, and Rock History Canada. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.